Hello everybody, this is Bud Rich and let's make a couple of videos here, maybe three, uh, writing a new script. The Linklord script, uh, which will be like a bookmark manager. Uh, and also it will have this function that I showed you in the last video where it can automatically identify links in a markdown document and, and add them links to the document like this. But that is kind of a bonus feature that of course is great if you are writing markdown documents but it's kind of useless if you don't <laughs> write markdown do documents obviously but even if you don't use that function it can be nice to just have a have your own bookmark manager so we will build that now together uh, i have uh, cleaned up the the script here and removed uh, almost everything except the main function and the helper functions here uh, but I have added like only echoes here to echo yeah, the name of the function. I also added uh, some um, error message uh, functions here. So ERM just prints to standard error if we need to do that. Uh, ERR prints uh, a warning and, and then standard error. And ERX prints uh, to standard error and then exit with the exit code 77, which is a custom exit code you can think of it as uh, that we listen for with this trap here I made a video about this why uh, this is uh, kind of a great idea to, to set uh, your own uh, uh, exit codes like this whatever um, I don't know if it is how to fail successfully or something I think the video was called um, so you can see I have prepared things here I have even made a note uh, and written down uh, what we need to do here. I think this is what we need to do uh, to, to do the whole script here. All these little uh, uh, points. <clears throat> so, link lord the script here. It, and I want to design it like this. I, I almost never do scripts like this. I like to use uh, command line options. But here, uh, let's uh, do this way instead. So uh, testing if the arguments are a file, then we assume it's a markdown file and we append links to that file. Uh, but if the first argument uh, is a URL, maybe we, we will uh, fine tune this test to make it, uh, because yeah, it, it just tests here if the string starts with, with HTTP. It's not a perfect URL test, but whatever. If uh, the first argument is a URL. We add the URL to our link database. Uh, otherwise, we just uh, or if we don't have any argument at all, then we list all the links in a Rofi menu. Um, so we can select links. Uh, the selected link will be put in the clipboard. Uh, and if we get like a, a not valid argument, uh, an argument that isn't a file and that doesn't start with HTTP then we just exit out and, and uh, say hello, this is not a valid argument. Mm. So that makes uh, makes for three uh, parts of these scripts, uh, three different core functions, like adding URL to a database, uh, listing the links and appending to the markdown. I guess it will be probably be three videos, maybe even four, because this uh, appending here, um, whatever, we'll see. I think it, I think we can do it in three. But I have said things like that before, and it have become like more videos. But whatever. Let me just have some coffee. Um, Let's also quickly look here at the links database here. Uh, I have the directory open here. I have tested a bunch now, so now I have a lot of files and even subdirectories here. Uh, and you know, each each of the file consists of, of one or more links defined in um, with markdown syntax like this: the title and the URL. Um, and I'm thinking. I want this um, structure so we can have, uh, because now 
the files, you could think of them as uh, tags in a way, you know? So in each file, you name it with, with something and then you store related uh, uh, URLs in each file. Um, and when we list the links uh, in the Rofi menu, then I want it to both list uh, the files, the actual files, and I also want to list all the URLs. So I want to be able to search all URLs in all files. But if I select the name of a file instead in that list, then it will only list the links in that particular file. Uh, I also want to list all directories. Uh, but I don't want to list the files in those directories or the links in those directories. Um, but if I select the directory, then it will list the links, the files and the directories in that directory. I don't know, it's, it sounds a lot more complicated than it actually is here. It's a, I think this is a great solution because uh, imagine yeah, my YouTube channel, for example. Maybe I want to, to keep all uh, links to all the videos for uh, uh, each individual vi video. It would be great to just uh, have them have easy access to those URLs, you know. But I have like, uh, I don't know how many videos I have now, but maybe 150 videos, maybe 200 videos. I, I, I don't know. Um, that will be a lot of links, you know, uh, that always will be in that list. It will be a bloated list. So it will be, then I can make a, a directory and call it like Bug Labs uh, YouTube channel. I can call the directory that and in that one I can have uh, like the links. So, so I make sure to hide them from the general section. I, I don't know if it makes any sense, but I think this is a good solution. And that is how I want the, the link database to, to work. Um, I, I, I would also like to add, we do that later, um, uh, a history history file like we did with the BWP. So when we add the link or select the link, it will be uh, added to a history file and the most recent uh, recently used or added links will be at the top of the list when we display it, display it in, in uh, Rofi, and we can more or less copy copy that code from BWP. And that's a nice thing. It's it's like um, BWP. It was a wallpaper manager. This is a link manager. They have more than one thing in common. And then why not just copy paste them? But there there is also some things that are completely different. In in the BWP, we needed to make some image processing and uh, um, really caring about the different uh, file types and stuff. Here it's more parsing files and things like that. And this uh, markdown appending thing, that's completely different from, from the BWP. But there might be some repetition here, but whatever. And I think let's start with uh, um, adding um, new URLs here. So this command, add uh, uh, when we pass a URL to Linklord. Uh, so we start with this add URL function here. Maybe we could also quickly test here link lord and see how it works. If we just execute it without any commands, it prints here listing, because no commands, list links, and then uh, it just echo listing. We, we pipe a file, like uh, bashrc is a file, and here this is maybe something we also should test make um, yeah see if it really is a markdown file or not but whatever we, we take that when we get there uh, and also http colon wa that's not a correct url but it still passes as a url with our current regex test here and if we try something that isn't a file or an argument we get an error so that's uh, how we will operate with this and of course when we are done we will not execute linklord from the command line most of the time we will do it with uh, some key binding and uh, uh, or some other way but that's the thing also that i think that's a very important or very very useful thing to understand that uh, when a program is a command line utility most of the time it, does, it, it means uh, that it's a perfect program to use 
in scripts and uh, connect it, pipe it, whatever, you know. And most of the time you don't actually execute it from the command line. But when we are developing a command line utility, we use the command line. So bear with me if you think this just looks stupid, having a program like this to add links. We will, uh, um, at the end of this series, we will hook it up to, uh, in, to a function in, uh, for example, Pale Moon, so I can automatically do this, just select a link and it will be added to the database, whatever. <coughs> Let's look at the notes. Uh, oh, that's my home directory there. Um, add URL. Here I've written down we, we, we want to prompt for uh, the title of the URL because when we store the, the links here in our database uh, we, we we don't only store the URL we also store the title and and it's important that we have both of these we, we need three things when we add when we want to add a link we, we, we need the URL we need the title and we also want to know which of the files to, to store it in mm. but we can start with, with the title and first, um, or let's do this. Let's create a variable called title, and it can be equal to the, the what 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 we say in a Rofi menu here. But now you will see. We uh, I don't think I want to use Rofi actually. Uh, you will see soon. Uh, Rofi. Um, Title for URL. There, and then we can echo the title is title. Let's test it. Your XPT. Yes, I can close this one. Uh, link Lord. HTTP colon, it's enough to do that. And here I get an error from Rofi now because I don't have this uh, theme file located in my config file and stuff. So this is a bit annoying. Then you need to specify a theme here for Rofi and use one of the built-in one, built ones. Uh, and I actually have the theme directory here. And you can just select one of these. So I don't know. I don't think anyone, any of the them look uh, good but let's take sidebar just to see what that is ah, and we also need to, to add um, the d menu option to the, to rofi here otherwise it doesn't work it's it's so weird that that isn't like a default option in my opinion but there now we get the sidebar rofi here doesn't look too amazing but it's fine title for URL uh, hello the title is hello and I don't know if maybe we should use Rofi because uh, uh, or the, the, the alternative is to use uh, my my Rofi wrapper script that is called i3 menu and then we can use prompt here because that will automatically uh, add layouts and themes and stuff that that i like but it is then it is dependent on i3 and it's also dependent on i3 menu here of course uh, so i i don't know i don't want to shill my own uh, dirt tax too much like this but it just makes it much easier for me to see I never use Rofi and then I have to remember all of these options but we can do the same things with with um, Rofi as i3 menu we just get a better layout uh, and more consistent theme with theme with my rise here you know what let's use Rofi but uh, let's not uh, customize the theme or anything let's just use this stupid sidebar theme here we could actually create uh, 
mutta ihan global variable uh, Rofi options. And then we can add these default options there. And then we, without quotes here, important uh, Rofi options. Even if, um, no, it didn't. Yeah, you see here, shell check, it, it, it's a, hey, you should uh, double quote this to prevent globbing, but I actually want uh, the globbing here. I want uh, these as different uh, uh, arguments or different words here. I, I want the word splitting. There are rare cases, but m most of the time use quotes around variables, you know. Uh, and this should also bring up the sidebar there. And now we can use this Rofi option for all our, when we use Rofi. Um, so that's fine. I guess we should also do something like this. Okay. Um, that's prompting for the title. I guess we can save that there. Then we also want to prompt for the category. Yes, we can call that category. Um, but this time it's a bit different. We don't uh, because when we prompt for for the title, then we just add a prompt with no list or anything. But when we ask for the category, then it would be nice to list all the available categories, uh, meaning all the files. And here I want to list even files within subdirectories and everything. Um, so. I guess let's let's split this up a bit here. And we have this uh, links directory here. This one it's uh, stored in this variable link lord d. I guess uh, this is not a perfect location either. It's, it will probably be better to have it in the home dot cache slash link lord maybe whatever. Uh, that's something we can look into uh, later. Um, and then we can use find here, because that's a very powerful uh, tool to find files. Um, so first argument to file find should be the directory where you want to search. Um, and then you can add all kinds of weird uh, options to find. But type F, that will look for all uh, regular files uh, in, in um, this directory. and its subdirectories. So this will list all the files even within the subdirectories and everything here. Uh, and then we can just uh, pipe this to row figure. <coughs> we should get a list. First title and there we get a list of our categories. Um, but um, I don't like uh, how this uh, list is uh, Formatted. I, I, I actually don't want to see yeah the link lord deed here. It would be nice if it cut or removed everything uh, up until this place. And here you can see th this for example is a file that's located uh, in two subdirectories. And I, I, I do want to display the subdirectories, but I don't want to display the, the parent directory. Um, and I don't know, maybe there's a better way to do this, uh, but um, I have found that that uh, piping this to said and then just removing link lord deed uh, from the beginning of, of each uh, string in the stream uh, will do the trick, so to speak. So, and, and this is also a good thing to know. Uh, normally, or often when you use said, you, you write something like this, you know. S for substitute, slash, and then uh, the variable here. Uh, deed, uh, we want to replace that with nothing. Um, I think it's a, we do that globally here. Doesn't really matter, but maybe. So this is how you uh, uh, would, would write this, but I think we will get some we might even get an error if we try this now. Title, whatever. There, no, we, now it didn't print anything, and we got yeah, we got an said error here. 
And that is because link lord d here, uh, the content of this variable uh, contains a bunch of slashes, you know, and even more slashes here. The home directory, it's actually slash home slash bud slash tmp slash links. And slash here, uh, said will interpret these slashes uh, in, in the variable here. And that kind of breaks the whole thing here. And I remember when I started uh, using said and stuff uh, and encountered this issue, I used to do this. Uh, this is like uh, mm -mm -mm bash uh, uh, variable commands, you know. Substitute everything in the variable link lord. Um, and the thing we want to substitute is forward slash. And we cannot do that here either, so we need to prefix it with a backslash. So every forward slash in this variable, substitute that with, and then we need a new slash here, with uh, a backslash. Uh, but we have to prefix the backslash with a backslash, you know. <laughs> and then forward slash. I think I think this works. And you know, this, this is just crazy, crazy, crazy programming, but I think this will work actually. Um, yeah, now you can see, now it uh, removed uh, the link lord deer from, from the beginning of the lines. But this is such a stupid way to do this, because it's a mu there, there is actually a, a much better solution. Because instead, you can use any character, or I don't know if you can use any, but uh, you can use a lot of different characters. You don't need to use slash as the separator for the said uh, command, or what to call it here. So you could use... I know pipe is, is kind of uh, common to use. It's, and you should of course use a, a, a character that you kind of know is a part of, of this uh, variable here. Um, I often use semicolon, I don't know, it's also one of those that seldom occur uh, in, in, in a variable and such. Uh, so this will have the same result as uh, using slashes, but now the slash in the variable have no special meaning for said here, so this should also work. I think I also would like to remove the, the first slash here, or, or the trailing slash, if you like, and that means we just add that there, and now it prints the categories. And the subcategories, it's kind of obvious that they are sub subcategories, it's not nothing weird, you know? But I like this. Um, prompt for category. Ignore hidden. Ah, that's good that I wrote that there. Because another thing is... Um, uh, if... One of the benefits of having this uh, uh, structure for the links uh, database here, keeping them just in plain text in files, is the, the it's great if you want to, to, to store the links uh, or, or keep them version controlled, you know, with, with Git, for example. Uh, but if I would add, create a, a Git repository out of this uh, links directory, it would add a, a .git uh, directory and maybe you also get like a dot git ignore and whatever and maybe we also add um, a dot history file and whatever i would like to to not include dot files so to speak here uh, let's also let's add a dot file so we can just test this here too dot file <laughs> because now it should it, it will probably include that dot file here well, yeah, there we have the dot file. Don't want that. Um, and the syntax here for find to ignore uh, files and directories starting with a dot is kind of weird. So that's why I <laughs> wrote it down here. Uh, and let's see now. I think we add that before type. And yeah, find is such a weird, weird... Uh, 
command in my opinion. It's like sensitive about where uh, on the command line you put each options and stuff. It's super weird. And what this basically means is um, we add a group here. That's why you need to escape these parentheses. Uh, and then we neg negate that group. So this is how you write like a negative uh, search or what to call it. So, so it will basically ignore files matching this regex and this regex uh, matches uh, uh, dot files. Okay. Uh, 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 let's try it again. And now it shouldn't include the... No, no dot file. Great. And we will use find a couple of times uh, in this program uh, and this or this script so this might also be something that can be a good idea to add as a like the rofi options here but uh, let's wait with that till we find ourselves in the duplication situation um what do we have in the notes okay when we have reached this point, we have a URL. The URL is uh, argument one here, by the way. So maybe we should do local URL equal dollar one. We have the URL, we have the title, we have the category, and that's all we need. Um, um, so the target file, I guess we could also do like a local TRG. I, 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 I like that variable name. I use it a lot, so let's use it here as well. So TRG will be the target file, and the target file will be what we select here as the category. Maybe we should print that here. Category. The cat is category. Select something here. New F slash others, and then say the cat is new F slash others and remember this is a file even if it doesn't have an extension i i, I want it like that uh, so the target uh, will be this file but we need to prefix uh, the category with link lord deal since we trim it here with said um, so trg is equal to link lord deed slash category Uh, and to create and the reason it might look weird here why create the directory of course the the directory for the file exists but uh, if if uh, if we write a category that doesn't isn't in the list and I want that too so we easily can create new files and new uh, subdirectories and categories and stuff so we always uh, do a make deal here make the with a p option meaning it will create all necessary subdirectories um, and the directory is trg but uh, with the file the, the trailing file uh, trimmed so percentage remove everything from the end of this variable trg from the last slash and forward um, there because then we know we have uh, the file and now we just want to need to append uh, a new link here which should be in this format you know mm, link lord like this and I think it's the uh, easiest way to do this is using printf and create a format string out of this and re replace this with percentage s and replace this with percentage s and the first percentage s is the title so title and the second is url uh, and then we append that to trg and here uh, trg might not exist here now uh, but the directory exists and if the file doesn't exist and you use append then it will create the file so so this is perfectly fine Whoops, trg doink. Um, I guess we should also add a new line. 
And I think this is enough and this will work. Uh, we can remove the control line here. Let's test it out. Uh, let's add um, google.com Title for URL Google, the search engine <laughs> And then it asks me for a ca category Let's store it in fonts Whatever, we're just testing stuff out here And there, now it hopefully added to fonts. And if we look here, then we can see Google, the search engine is added to the fonts file. Uh, we could try to, to see if we can create a, a, a new directory. We can test with Google again. It's like whatever. And then something. Oh. And uh, we want to create this in uh, search. There's no, you should also change the prompt here. It should say uh, target category or something. So search, um, that category didn't exist, so it created a new file, added something Google there. Uh, let's try a subcat, we can add a slash, and then, haha. And there, now it created a new directory with a new file with that and so on. And that will now be listed here in the category list when we look here, we can see subcat haha file here so great um, note i know i had some more things i want to do here create the if necessary append markdown formatted url that's this part um, and this short sure, this is great you know when we add uh, links uh, manually like this one at a time but sometimes you maybe want to parse a document and add all the links in that document automatically maybe uh, if you know the titles and if you know the category or whatever so uh, I thought if we do this if dollar two is set it will be uh, used as the category and then we don't prompt prompt for the category and if dollar three is set it will be used as uh, the title Not sure. Actually, this would be much better here to use uh, command line options now when I think about it for, for, for this command here. Because sometimes maybe you know the title but don't, you don't know the category. And sometimes you know the category but you don't know the title. Uh, first I thought maybe the category is the most important, then you can batch add uh, all links in, in uh, for example, my YouTube channel. I know that all of, all of the links will, will go to will go to the same category, but they will all have different titles. Uh, and if I don't, yeah, I don't know. But it gets weird with the command line options here as well. Maybe we should make a break here and... and uh, I would think about that for, for, for a while. There are other things as well here. I guess we should write them down here. Uh, we don't need to do all, all of the steps here. We, we actually have a working add URL function here. It's, it's good enough to, to keep on with the next functions and then we can tidy things up uh, at the end. But I, I was also thinking, you, you saw now I added uh, Google uh, multiple times. Maybe we should add a test to see if, um, yeah, we could test for both if, if there is a link with the same title and we could test if there is a link with the same URL. Sometimes it, it can be, uh, you might want to store multiple links or the same URL but with different titles just to make it easier for, for the markdown parser later. Uh, but we really don't want to store uh, multiple uh, links with the same title but different URLs that will uh, then we cannot automate the, the process of automatically add links in the markdown document so that's also something uh, we, we might would like to do I or I, I, I want to do that so test for uh, existing URL 
title before adding. And then maybe if, if we already have a title, then we, we always, uh, we, we don't accept the same title, then you can, we can prompt for the title again. But if it's the same URL, then we could ask, are you sure you want to add this link? It already exists in this category. Uh, but if we want to, we can add the same URL again. I'm thinking something like that. Yeah. And I also need to think about this. Uh, 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 if we should use uh, command line options, I guess we should. It will make it much more secure, so to speak, and, and more flexible. Uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.